Welcome back to Super Mario 64. Last time we ran around and got all of the Castle Secret Stars, except one that we don't have access to yet. We currently have 57 stars. Our next goal is 70 to fight the big man himself. Let's see, so Bomb Bomb Battlefield's done. Yeah, 100%. Still got a couple in Womp's Fortress, right? Yeah, just two. Jolly Roger Bay, we still got to do some in the 100 coin. Cool, cool mountain, I skipped to. What did I skip? Oh, because we did the uh, the walled kicks will work. And that was six. While you were trying oh, to do yes. three. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I was trying to do red coins, and I think we did wall kick. Big Blue's Haunt's almost done. Yeah, just one left. Hazy Maze Cave, still got to do that. Yeah, I got an amount of work left there. Oh, almost done. With almost, yeah, almost done. And I think the last one is just the second route inside the volcano. Mm. Still need the coins, though. Yeah, Shifting Sand Land. Dire Dire Docks, almost done. Snowman's Land, probably. Yeah, now we're getting next. up to the second yeah, and then group wet, that we haven't touched, like, at all yeah, yet. Yeah, Wet Dry World, Tall Tall Mountain. And then we haven't even been in any of the ones up here. Well, once by accident. Once by accident, but we didn't get a star, so it doesn't count as open. <laughs> it's funny, because it's funny. Uh, let's do snowman land here. It's not called that. It's called that now. No, that's oh, not, not that snowman. one. That's a different one. We haven't done that one yet. We'll, we'll get to that one eventually. You don't have to worry about that one. I actually kind of like that one. A lot of people don't. I like that one. I... I think it's, it's some other reason it's a little more confusing than it needs to be because you can easily get stuck in the wrong spot to mm. do a specific star, so you have to go out of your way to go back to it, and it's like, oh my god. Let's go. Kill with the bully. The bully. The boo 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 -dee. Okay, so we've still got to find, um, Duderson McGee. I think it's the first time those guys showed up. I, I got so paranoid as a kid. With the coins? with those, like, the money bags guys or whatever, that I would walk up to every coin and stop and make sure before like, actually grabbing it. I think eventually I realized that even at a distance, you can see them. They're just very transparent. Mm -hmm. I was kind of hoping the slide would count as a kill. I think I can get this one beforehand? Maybe. Oh no, I need the invisible thing. No, I think you can just get it. Can you? Yeah. Well, that was one of those ones you had to like get the invisible hat for. Oh, no. I mean, there is a place where you have to do that. Yeah, that's inside, yes. Oh, well, yeah. That one was just sitting right there, okay. <laughs> it's gonna be like the sixth star. Not even gonna put that on the, like, the other side of the map, you just... I shot a where you... This is the only place you can't do that. Ripple, ripple, ripple. Oh, it's the third star. I think it's the only place you can't do that. What? Jump in. Backflip in. Backflip in. <laughs> Heck, you doing dancing in front of me? Come on. <laughs> That's literally what happens when you do like the I got God and anime on my side and then reality hits. <laughs> Okay, so chill with the bully. There is a bully. Bully! Uh, right up there. Yeah, no, I see. How? He hadn't rendered that. Because I know where he spawns. Please. Pain in the butt fighting this guy. Oh my god, I want you to screw up so badly and just go, like, off everything. There we go. Pain in the butt because of the ice. You got a good strategy with that jump kicking, though, so. You do you. Here we go. Yeah, I do do me! <laughs> <laughs> Just launch your chair out of nowhere. It's so frustrating when you can't backflip in. You mean like this? Like, look, I'm just trying to real quick get back in. What the heck? Whirl from the freezing pond. Uh, 
don't remember where this or what this one is. Remember those things that we can't remember the names of, even though I looked them up. I mean, I know them. On top of. Yeah, I mean, I know them. Yeah, they whirl you up above a ledge that you need to go through. I'm sure I'll remember when I see it. You will remember the moment you see it and go like, dang. It's like right over here. Because you only get like two shots because you have to like hit them and... Oh, that's right, this water actually... Yeah, the water's too cold. Hurts you instead of helps you. It's a hurt water instead of a health water. It's a hurt action instead of a health action. Don't you do it. I'm gonna drown! Oh god, I'm gonna drown in the cold! Haha! I killed you instead. Got just a little bit of health leeway now. Oh, fuck. Well, at least you can make your... Make your income back. <laughs> It'd be on my health. <laughs> is this a man? Is this a thing on that man? Oh, that's the shell. I don't need that yet. How do you remember these things? Is this I... me we're talking about? I remember the stupidest things ever. I remember the shell. No, oh, the shell's over here. One of these is like a shell. The other one's like the star. See, as soon as I heard Whirlwind from the thing, I was thinking over... This is exactly where I was thinking, but I was going like... There's not a star just right there, is there? No, as it turns out, there was a star just right there. Yeah, no, it's just right there. What is this one? Shell, shell shredding! <laughs> oh, shell shock. <laughs> You do not actually need the red shell or the shell in order to get the red coins. I just like to double check just in case. Oh, Wait a minute. Should yeah, hold up before you grab. There's like something different about them. It's probably the different emulation. I'm like tr I'm trying to put my finger on what it is. Next time we see one, I want to stop and. I dive it. Yeah, I tried that with the coin, but it didn't work. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, your face. It's punching in this game is kind of bad. I'm pretty sure that's why they never gave Mario a punch action again. <laughs> you don't even try it! Did you try it?! I'll kill you and turn you into <laughs> coins. Mario's right, a little aggro all of a sudden, Bowser. We don't know what happened. You stole up my cake! <laughs> it's my cake. I didn't even think I was that high up to do that. I always love that. Like, you could tell they just kind of had fun when they made the world here. Oh, yeah. And they made how Mario, like, interacts with it. With little stuff like that. Yeah, like everywhere else, you would just ground pound. You would just like hit the ground and get damage done. And here, it's like it's snow. Why would he take damage from the snow? Like somebody sat back and said, "What if when he hits the snow, he gets his butt stuck in it?" Oh, he gets his whole lower body. If you ground pound into it. Yeah, if you ground pound, he gets his butt stuck in it. Yeah, he's like just specifically his butt. Like everything else, he's just like, okay. Okay, so if you don't want to get your, if you don't want to get your feet cold, then you need the shell to get the one back there. Add money bags with your back. Somewhere. Keep calling them money bags. Oh, you can run circles around the snowmen. Oh! And they fall over. There we go. <laughs> it doesn't really work on that bridge, but... Okay, so here's your... That's a money bag. The coin is floating off the ground. Huh. Death! <laughs> Just 
just exploded him. <laughs> Into coins! Just how daddy likes it. <laughs> Okay, so now... Nah, so oh, no, it's you have the world. You have to do yeah, the one uh, the the shells over there. How do you only have 39 coins? This is kind of nice. Can you butt stomp out of that? Nope. Coin's not worth it. What if it is? <laughs> what if we need that one more coin? I will take all the damage to get that last coin. Even though technically I have to lose three coins to get over here. Yeah, but you don't lose the coins. And that's the important part. Anything up here? Sure is. Yeah, most of the red coins. Okay, may want to get the two down there. So you don't gotta go into the water. Let's cue it. I'll go get the other. Oh, where even are more coins? Oh, right, there's a bunch in here. There's also a star in here. Yeah, but once we go in there, we get stuck. So. Oh, you do? Yeah, you can't. Like, you can't exit the igloo, I think. Oh, that's butts. So we'll just do this. Here we go. Well, we're just gonna have to come back for the hundred coins and then once we're willing to go in the igloo. Because that's like the only oh well last yeah, last one is in the igloo. Yeah, that's that's nice. Let's go do other stuff. <laughs> Wonder how many people I've upset by doing that. Two three. This is not the first time either. Nope. Top of the town. Oh, do I have to get the water all the way up? Probably. This is probably crap. Just say yes or no. I don't know. So then say maybe. And I'll repeat the question. And then you're not the boss of the Nobody's not gonna get that. Yeah, I can play mouth in the middle, doesn't even remember that. <laughs> I wish that were a lie. Funnily enough, we've got an old enough audience that I feel like people would immediately go, No, actually, I do. Oh, it's always one of those stupid things. Like, every time, every time you see somebody goes like, All these kids today don't know what a rotary phone... Look, they have the internet. They can look it up. Stop, stop underestimating them. <laughs> Kids don't know what a blockbuster is. They have the inner. They can look stuff up! Like, okay, maybe that wasn't a thing that would be put into their brain through popular culture, but also there's a lot of information that just exists. Who says I know everything off the top of my head? I don't know what happened in the 90s. <laughs> I was born in the 90s. I was born in the 80s and lived through most of the 90s. I don't remember that crap happening. We nah. The only time I remember OJ happening was I was mad because it kept interrupting shows I was watching. I was like, I don't want to see the stupid trial. I want to watch my shows. I'm a kid. My kid shows get shows. Okay, how in the world are we getting higher? I mean, the next one is right over there. Well, I mean, if you want this dang good. <laughs> I think the next one higher, we can probably just long jump to, honestly. It's like right over... Is it over? No, it's, no, it's over. back back over there. Yeah, I was just wondering. I think we can just long jump to it. I think the funnier thing is, like, after watching all this Cowboy Bebop, like, back and forth because of the show mm. and everything, is definitely watching all these um, people reviewing, like, looking over old Bebop and go like, wow, pot was just everywhere over in that show. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I was very aware there was that mushroom episode, but wow, I did not know that pot was just like, yeah, we got pot everywhere in the future. <laughs> Not the action was meant to happen. 
And again, this is also Samurai Shampoo where they did an entire episode where they just got high off the mountain. Look, Samurai Shampoo was a whole other beast. It was actually a pretty good show. It wasn't bad though, yeah, it wasn't bad. It's not like Bebop good, but it was definitely had like its own thing going for it. And it's like, yeah, you know what, that works. Doesn't need to have everything going for it in Bebop style. It just needs to have its own thing going. Oh, how did I? Whoop. I feel like the biggest thing that Champloo was missing was like... I'll take that. A strong story arc to go to, to like, to bring about a good, a strong finale. Yeah. It just kind of felt like a bunch of adventures they were going on. I mean, Bebop had the same I thing. mean, true. But there was at least the always underlying conflict with, like, the Syndicate and everything in Bebop. God, it's so hilarious looking back at Vicious and going like, it, wow, this was a non-character that existed, and we were all just cool with that. <laughs> like, yeah, he had his whole point and everything, but it was also like, wow, he just existed. That was just, his his life was just to be like, I'm an asshole that Spike knows. <laughs> I like the the thing that I like about Shampoo was like the twist at the end, where like if you don't know about the history, you kind of go like, really, and then that whole thing because it makes sense looking back on it. Goes like, why does this Dutch guy know about this whole thing? And then you go like, oh, because he's a wet. Yeah, okay, a lot <laughs> of this makes sense now. And back in we go. Okay, what do you got for us? Secrets in the Shallows and Sky. Oh, this is... Is this the canon one? No. This is when you walk to very specific locations, you'll see a little, like, one or two appear. Oh my god, I think I remember this one. Is this one of those ones that we have to, like, look up to make sure? I, like, don't remember where any of them are. Oh, neat thing about Wet Dry World that I just remembered. How high you, you enter the painting yeah. determines the starting water level. Yep. So if you want to start with low water... Oh, there's one down... Um, you have to lower the water level. There's a block in the wall. Mm. Yeah, no, That's one. The the wall. That's one. I don't know if the water level goes lower than this. I think it's the lowest it goes. So I think it still needs water. Technically. I don't know, maybe it goes ankle deep. <laughs> I mean, maybe if I was the size of... I, I was in real life in comparison to Mario, but... <laughs> you okay there, buddy? You, you doing? Phasing in and out in life <laughs> there, or...? Oh, this one. Yeah, this one is not too hard if you can wall jump. Yeah, I don't think you're, you're supposed to wall jump. I think you're supposed to, like, ride an elevator up. Hello? Can I help you to die? I got your health pack without even getting on the surface of the water. Because the coin fell into me. So to get that one, I always wall jumped instead of long ways. I long jump or I wall jump between the fence and the wall. But that does make getting onto the platform up top harder. Oh, so like. Or maybe you can't wall jump off the fence. It's either that's the way I did it, or you can't. No, you can't. Okay. Getting the getting the camera to agree with this is the hard part. It's like it's not giving me the momentum I need to get to the other wall. Like it should, given that it's closer than the. Anyway, whatever. You do you. That's just how I did it. I think it's that the camera angle is throwing off momentum. I'm also getting, like, this weird, like, occasionally I just hit the wall and that's just it for it. Yeah, that, I mean, that usually means your input wasn't timed right, but who knows how jank the input detection 
for that is. I don't even the one we're supposed to be looking for. I don't really know either. So, I know right over here... Okay, so... So right over here on your right, you can pull that out. There's one! Eat shit! Oof. I don't know if you can kill them. No, you can't. I don't think you can. I swear you can lower the water level and then you move that. But I thought I hit the lowest one there was. Yeah, I, I swear there's another one, but I don't know where. It's not in the town, because I don't think there's a way you can get Yeah, I don't think you can get back. You can't get back with the two lower. And then just like in a corner somewhere? Might be in the corner. Like an almost imperceptible corner? <laughs> like draw distance hasn't given... Okay, Mario, whatever you want. Yeah, there, there it is. is. Alright, yeah, you were right. I'm just gonna pull on that, like... 10, 20 year old memory. Better than my jank memory that's like, did you need to know this important tax information? Good, too bad. You know about this from Final Fantasy XIV. Like, I appreciate the fourteen thing, but the tax code would have been nice. <laughs> Especially since tax season's coming up in a few months. Two! Okay, you're on your own for the other three. Oh god, no. Oh, there's hey! Three. Well, it said low and high. Yeah, it said shallows and sky. Yeah. I yeah. gotta start racing the water level. Yeah. Oh, so now we get to see how you're supposed to go about raising the water level all the way. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Your forehead doesn't quite have the force. Really? None of those were the fourth one? Alright. So I think you have to get up, climb up that to get to that one. Oh yeah, okay. It, just, it looked like it wasn't a climbable thing there. Uh. And then... Wait, there's an electrical thing in the wall! Let's see. Is there anything over there? I don't see anything that looks like it would be. Uh, so we can probably get him to throw you up to the top. Flipper dipper here. Oh, not quite. Ed, you just raise the water level. I never I just noticed his smirk on his face. I'm like, oh, I hate you even more now. Yeah, I think I'm ready to beat you up if I could. <laughs> wow, I'd kill you if I had one. <laughs> had one what? Power work kill. Duh. Oop. Oh, yeah, I can just do this. Yeah, so. What's your favorite episode of Bebop? Ooh. Oh, it's been so long, I don't even know. How. Oh. I can't remember enough of the individual episodes to remember. I know there was the. F the one that comes to mind is the refrigerator one. Oh. Toys in the Attic. You sure? No, that's what it's called, Toys in the Attic. Really? Oh. Yeah. Oh. Maybe I'll be up there. Did you hear the ping? I did not. I uh, didn't count. Yeah, no, I think it's Toys in the Attic. That one was always kind of a weird one. Hmm. What was it the weird lobster that just mutates because he had it in there for too long? Yeah, it ended up being like either a lobster or some seafood or it's like something. like a Ganymede rock lobster or something. I think I guess it just because it's your favorite. Also, nice coin count. 
I guess it's your favorite just because of the fact that it's a rock lobster of some kind. Yeah, I don't rem I don't remember much more, but I think my favorite one. Oh, maybe something up there. Yeah, that's probably it. Uh, I think it was Black Dog Serenade. The one for which Jet's passed. Mmm. Yeah, so well, there's four. Cause, uh, Jet was always my favorite. Jet was the one I was like, Spike was just death on wheels there. Faye was just like... Booberella, I guess. Ed was kind of like, I can take you in doses, kid, but not the whole thing. Ein was Ein, and I don't, I don't know if you could argue against Ein. See, I actually... Uh, despite your descriptions of them, I actually I, rather enjoyed pretty much all the characters. I like... Specifically because all of them were far deeper than you think. I think the thing is, is I, I like Spike when the Syndicate isn't involved. Spike is a fun character mm. on his own. But when that syndicate in gets involved, it's like you s it literally just takes his smile off the character model and just goes, Eek! <laughs> is he like? I think it, I think another thing I like is like. And Faye's fine. I like Faye. I don't I, the fan service, whatever. Yeah, that's good. All that stuff. Just, Faye's just kind of like she is the person who doesn't want to be on the bebop but ends up stuck on the bebop for some reason. See, I think I I like her because. Also, like her... she's supposed to be a modern-day Fujiko uh, Mine, I think's her last name. I, I like Faye, because despite that her... Like, she looks... Her outfit is fan servicey, but the show, like, never plays up on that. I mean, they make... Like, that, her per that's not her personality. She doesn't act that way. There's not, like, oh, look at the camera angles. Like, it's very... it's just it just fits naturally as part of who she would be. It's just her way of, like, throwing perps off. Because they see the booba and they go like, ah, but then she goes like, <laughs> gun, and it's like, oh, crap. I do not know where this fifth one is at. Probably going to be up here, would be my <laughs> guess. Well, they did say in the sky, so... Yeah. I don't know where up here, but it would probably be, unless it's in that box on top of that. Hmm. Yeah, no, Jet was always my favorite. Yeah, Jet's Jet's good, though. Jet's my favorite because he's the only one who was stable. <laughs> and he's the guy who lost his arm and, I think... Was it just his arm? Because I know he has I think that one of little, his legs. I think... Yeah, probably, because then he lost, the, lost that to corrupt cops. So... Because he was the only clean cop in his entire precinct, and everyone else was like, money, money, money. Oh, no, that was the wrong button. And yeah, and Ed was just... Ed was the... It's, it's small doses for you, kid. I don't know if I can go that far. Ed was interesting. Oh. Oh, well. oh I think there is, like, a thing up here. Yeah, there's a box up here. I think this is the fifth one. Hopefully. Yay! Ed's interesting, uh, because she adds a very different dynamic to the crew, but also, it's weird how it's handled. I mean, they make it very much aware that Ed's, like, not supposed to be around when things get serious, because Ed plugs out every time that happens. Mm. Like, even the last, what, like, three, four episodes, like, that's when, like, Ed and Ayn leave forever, and then it's just like... Oh shit, I should have gotten six more coins. I don't know where I would have gotten them from. Um, they're like, they're gone for the rest of the series, and then it just goes downhill from there. <laughs> like, honestly, though, as soon as you started learning about everybody's history, you kind of knew there wasn't just going to be an everybody's happy and walking off into the sunset kind of ending. I mean... Jet and... Especially friggin' Spike. Jet and Faye gotta live. Spoilers. Yeah. I mean, especially Spike, though. Like, as soon as you start learning all of that, you just go, Well... 
there's not just going to be a happy ending and then everybody's back on the bebop, smacking each other's backs and having a good old laugh at the having, end of this. Having a good old laugh, that's just our life, a lot in life, ha ha ha. What was this one? Uh, Express Elevator, it's the one we were trying to wall kick up to. Uh... But it's like you have to do the elevator thing. Yeah, you can. Wa yeah, you can wall kick. I think if you wall kick up to it, you hit your head on the top, and that lowers it. Yeah. So you can get on. But also, if you just raise the water level up high enough that you can climb up top, you stand on one of the two levers on the outside, and it lowers the platform. Oh yeah, you can just skip that one. You can come up here. In fact, you don't even need to raise the water any higher than that, because you can just do this. Who is your favorite in, uh, Shampoo? Oh, in Shampoo? I... I... It's... It's... It's so hard between Mugen and Jin, because Jin is just, like, the straight-up straight man, and I kind of like him for that. But Mugen is just like, I'm, I'm not taking your shit today. <laughs> I'm gonna say Jin. Because, like, Mugen's a oh, fun... Oh, I actually have to lower it. Yeah. Because, like, Mugen's a fun character, but especially because he can throw friggin' shade on Jin, who's as, like... Straight as you can be. The like, he's man. the refined, practiced swordsman, like... There's no reason some street punk should be better than someone who's practiced like this. Yeah. What, didn't the platform stay down? No. It's express elevator. Hurry up. Uh. There, there we go. go. I'm just gonna make just sure he doesn't leave you alone for a second. Yep. Yeah, I think it's just Jin. I just like... But, yeah, like, I, I think I like Jin, though, and I actually liked... I, I liked him as a character in that he had to deal with crap that was outside of his... Yeah, I think, I think Mugen's, like, culture is really lost on us over here. Mm. So, like, you don't get the inner... You don't get, like, the... Oh, oh close. At it. So yeah, you don't get like the more interesting aspects. Like you have to look it up, and it's kind of like when you're when you're looking something up to understand a character, kind of loses a little bit. And dissecting a frog does teach you more about the frog. But it kills. The frog but it also the kills the frog. Yep. His arm didn't even move. Oh well, scoop boop. That's, right, well, bye. That's all right. I got the coins here, somewhere. Oh boy. Oh boy. Actually, this would be good. Haha! Eat shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't think I ever actually saw all of Shamplo. Pretty good. Like, I saw some of the... Ooh. Ooh, you made it. Fancy. Fancy. Like, I saw a bunch of the beginning, and then I kind of... Then, I don't know if where I was watching it just stopped showing it or what. I don't know, there was that one episode where they, like, all die and become zombies, but it's non-canon, so you're kind of like, what? And it's, like, apparently based on some weird, like, obscure reference in Japan, and it's like, what? And I think I remember later on... Um, getting back to it and like catching the last couple episodes but anyway we're out of time that's Mario for today so until next time everyone we got four in wet dry world two more to go we're 64 stars closing in on that big 70 in Super Mario 64 yeah you should have gotten a one extra one up or something just when you got 64 stars I don't know maybe a coin block spawns back at the entrance I don't know. That, that was their whole. Th that was their weird continuation of like we have the Nintendo. Now we have the Super Nintendo. So now it's like Super the Duper Mario Brothers, <laughs> and now it's Super Mario 64, and we'll put that on everything. And then we were expecting the Nintendo 186. 
Or no, 128. Yeah, 128. And then we're expecting the, the Nintendo game. 128 next. Then we're gonna have Super Mario 128. Eh, sunshine, I guess. Also, Galaxy. I think it's what they make Galaxy off of. 